Greetings and welcome to another video about my 3D printed uh, models and uh, so on. Now this video will be a little bit different. Um, it will be uh, only one shot, meaning uh, this one video will contain the entire project. And in this case, the project will be, as you may see on the draw uh, on the picture, uh, this tram. Now you may have noticed in my previous videos that in Creo uh, there uh, I have one specific uh, subfolder, I guess, uh, which is called Siemens, uh, which should uh, give it away that I work for Siemens, uh, or um, to be more precise, Siemens Mobility. So we are making all the. Uh, trains, uh, light uh, uh, light rails, uh, so trams, metros, uh, high speeds and so on. And I really love our design of uh, our tram Avenio. It's really nice design, at least I think it's very nice. I like it very much. But unfortunately, in my city, in Ostrava, uh, the such, such a tram I don't think will ever be uh, amongst other trains. I simply think that our uh, city will always prefer Škoda or uh, maybe Stadler, which is unfortunate. So I decided I will make a sort of my own avenue for my city of Ostrava. Um, so as you can see, the tram looks like this, sort of. Uh, of course, as you can see, there are some differences, but the overall design is uh, basically the same. Uh, of course, it depends on how many uh, wagons it actually has. And uh, I uh, chose to have uh, three, uh, front, middle, and uh, the end one. And I also decided that my my tram will be only uh, one-sided, meaning that the doors would be only on, on one side, because in our city it's like that. Now, uh, I have to say that we have some new trams in Ostrava. Uh, actually, we have basically almost all the trams are new, but our fleet was uh, recently reinforce with Stadler trams uh, called Novo. Uh, we can see them here. I like this design as well. Uh, it's really nice, though there are a few issues with the tram. However, I decided to uh, use this color scheme because we use it for uh, different um, vehicles as well, uh, buses, uh, trolley buses and so on. So I will use the color scheme that you can see here and apply it on the design of uh, Avenio. And I will design my own 3D printed model, uh, which would be in scale 1 to 65. Then, of course, print it out, um, paint uh, what is needed, and then assemble everything together. And the idea behind that is that I would like to have this model at work. Uh, we plan uh, to have some diorama and um, I think it could be really nice. You see, uh, making uh, new um, models of your products uh, in official capacity is not really cheap. Uh, this way we can have it basically free of charge because I don't really intend to have anything uh, for it. I do it because I enjoy it. Enjoy it. Anyway, so this is this is the color scheme. Uh, so now I think we are set, and we can go straight to Creo to take a look at the model. So this is it. This is my model. Yeah, as you can see, I kind of played with the name since our city is Ostrava and this is called Avenio. I take a, a liberty and make the new name Ostravenio. So this tram, as you can see, 
is uh, made in those color schemes uh, with those three exclamation points. Well, that's it. that is uh, sort of um, unofficial um, symbol of Ostrava, so I use it as well. Now, I obviously have also my own rails, uh, so it will stand on rails. And now, how how does it work? How it will all come together? So all three uh, vehicles are done in the same manner. So I will show it only on the one uh, on the first one. So we will take a look uh, how it comes together. So basically, we have the front. Uh, well, si uh, two sides. Uh, one and two and then the front masks well here is obviously one mask but we have two of them so that's why I said masks and it is all joined by top bottom and these connects so the bottom which looks like this inside we have these connections two on each side and then there is a, a top and on the tops come this roof and on it comes this is supposed to represent the electrical box and this is supposed to represent the klima box and then that all comes together now as you can see the windows are separate pieces that's simply for the uh, convenience when it comes to painting it's much easier to paint it uh, like that and then, of course, we also have undercarriage, and this is separate sub-assembly, sub sorry. And it looks like this. So, it's made uh, from several pieces, one, two, three, four, and then four wheel sub-assemblies. Now, the wheel sub-assemblies consists of the axis, the wheel itself and the support wheel. Now the reason there is this support wheel is simple. It's kind of small and this uh, support wheel, as the name suggests, uh, gives it support and uh, it is much more stable like that. And of course it uh, all goes to, uh, together uh, simply via friction, um, including the sides. So the idea is, as before, uh, to not use any glue at all. And of course now we, we have uh, the front masks. Uh, once again, all the windows are separate pieces, which as you can see will be plugged inside the same goes for for the front which is separate piece as well and here are the lights which as you can see are also separate pieces all simply for the convenience when it comes to actually painting them so that is basically how it looks and now and of course uh, i forgot to mention uh, all the uh, cars are connected with the, via these connections uh, they have those four holes on each side or basically four holes uh, that are going through and 
Yeah, they are connected via those four pins on each side. And this should be sufficient. Uh, of course, the uh, middle uh, wagon also has uh, the pantograph, so that's the only difference. Now, uh, for the exclamation points, I made a different, different height here to have some reference when I would, would uh, when I will paint them. Uh, hopefully, that will work great. So. That's basically it. Uh, before we go, I would like to show you also the rails. They are simply made like this. So, three pieces put together via this lock and that's it. And the plucket itself simply is inserted here. So, very simplistic. Okay, so this is the model, this is how I will print it out and paint it and assemble it together. Hopefully everything works as intended. So, let's take a look. And as you can see, here are all the parts printed out. Now, for example, here and here, as you can see, the doors are already inserted. Uh, the thing is that when I painted it, I immediately inserted those those um, those doors, uh, and uh, sometimes there was too much of the paint, and it stuck kind of like a glue. Uh, it wasn't intended, intended, but I don't really want to force those doors out because I don't want to uh, damage them. So I decided I simply will leave them here because yeah, here we have normal doors. So why not? Now, obviously, as you can see, it is all painted. And I have to say here, uh, painting isn't really my forte. Uh, I'm not really satisfied with how I painted mainly those exclamation marks, but well, live and learn. Okay, so I think uh, we could assemble everything together. So here we have three klima boxes and three fans. So we will put the fans inside. One. Two and three. So here we have those klima boxes. Here we have the electrical boxes, but uh, this one also needed the pantograph. So it's here. One part, two part. We simply put them together, and then. Put it inside like this. Okay, so now I think we can assemble all those undercarriages. So, fortunate, unfortunately, here we have the same issue like before. Uh, when I painted it, I already inserted those covers uh, simply to expel any color that would be redundant. And unfortunately, it sticked quite tightly. The same for this one. The second one obviously had not that issue, so it is here. And it's like that. Now, here we have one part with no covers. Actually, this is the only thing that, uh, only part that I think I may. Uh, glue those cover uh, at least this one cover here even though it's thick but for example this one doesn't stick that well and I don't want uh, if it would be uh, indeed uh, placed 
at my work I don't want uh, any pieces to fall out fall, uh, fall down so another pieces are here and inside them we have to insert the wheel subassemblies now obviously this is not uh, take, taken apart the reason is that it's quite tight lock and I was afraid uh, that if I uh, disassemble it it could actually break down so I decided to leave it there but it's the axis the support wheel and the wheel itself and we simply put it inside the hole and once that we put the upper part and simply slide it on and we have one undercarriage ready okay so we have all three of them and now we can take a look at the front mask and prepare them for the assembly so obviously they don't have any uh, um, windows uh, the front and those um, lights so i will start with the front which is this and insert it into this pin okay now i will insert the light sorry i don't think it would be very well visible on camera but uh, those lights are so small that it wouldn't be visible anyway okay lights are there now i need the front windscreen put it inside now the front display inside one side window and that's it and the same obviously for the second one okay so and we have the second one and now i think we can start to uh, assemble the sides so we start with this one as you can see it still has both uh, doors so we will start with assembling the door the windows so one Oh, wrong window. Simply putting everything inside all those little windows have their pins and they come into the corresponding holes and this is it okay so we have all six sides ready so we can start with the assembly of individual um, cars so one two and three bottoms as you can see one is blue the reason is i accidentally printed this one twice but they are not the same and i have to reprint it anyway so we have this connection so we will start to prepare one two three four five and six okay and now we need the top so 
fortunately we cannot make a mistake because those two are identical and this one comes to the middle wagon so and I will also put the roof oh, sorry Okay, and now I think we can start with assembling the sides. So here we have the middle wagon. One side. Okay, one, now, second one and then we have the third one Now, obviously, the front wagons needs to have the front mask. And the middle wagon needs those connections. And all needs the undercarriage. One. Two. And. Three. And now we will connect everything together. One. Okay, so here is the tram. Now we of course need the rails. 
So. And the blocker. And here we have the tram. So, I, even though the painting isn't the best, I am really glad how it came out. It's It certainly uh, could have been much worse. Yeah, uh, the th thing is uh i will i will have to use uh, glue to uh, fix some small parts that uh, are in danger to actually fall down but uh other than that i think it's okay so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it and i will look forward for other projects so that would be all and bye bye.